Seems that Huawei did have a backup for its operating system and uh, the trademark has already been filed. A new report claims that Samsung is taking longer than expected to fix the fold, but we might still see it somewhere in June. And ARM just announced a new processor architecture at Computex, which is more powerful, but it requires a couple more things. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, definitely, I, you know, I feel that today's Monday, but I know it's not. A lot of news to cover. This is Pocket Out Daily, brought to you by Dashlane. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for a ton of IoT stuff, Google usually does a very good job with them. And we've seen their whole rebranding with Nest and now their home hub, which I love, in addition to a home mini and also that Nest doorbell, the hello one, you get all that for 279, which if you do the math, it's nearly 410 bucks. All of these products I actually do recommend. You can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about Intel. My God, I thought this day would never come. I thought that by then, pretty much all competitors would eat up Intel, but that's not the case today. The Ice Lake processors are now official, even if we're gonna have to wait until the end of the year to see computers with them. And so Ice Lake, their first 10 nanometer processor, even if it's got some 14 nanometer elements, and then uh, even if they said that they were gonna bring Wi-Fi 6 and have it integrated in this chip, it's actually not necessarily that way at the beginning and up to the point where these processors don't really work on, de well, they work on desktops, but they're not designed for that. They're designed for laptops and ultra portables. And uh, well, Intel, thank you. Welcome to 2017. Um, it's gonna be nice. It's great to have you on the ride. Now let's talk about ARM as a, in addition to what we saw at Computex from Intel, ARM processors are the ones that are owning things right now. We've got the ARM A77 being announced, uh, and this uh, chip design pretty much uh, brings a couple of improvements, up to 20% more power. It's a more powerful chip. The problem is it requires uh, more power as well from the phone's battery, which is rather interesting as ARM has been really good about having their ARM processors be actually more and more power efficient as the architecture gets smaller. Not the case here, so I wonder exactly what this chip is going to be for, or who's going to take advantage of it. We hear Qualcomm, MediaTek, other companies will keep you posted. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung as we've been covering news since Friday over the fact that we want to know where is the Galaxy Fold 1. Obviously, we were expecting a possible launch end of May after all the debacle that happened. Uh, then we heard June, and uh, apparently that is going to be beyond Samsung's deadline. Some uh, inside sources claim that the company is being very secretive and that uh, we could be even waiting up until July if certain things go the way they're pointing out to be. And you know what, Samsung, I would rather you take your time and launch a good product because I do believe in this. Uh, but still, we would really love, I don't know, a statement, something to tell people this is where we're at. That'd be great. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with Huawei, yet again, uh, for two things, two separate news. The first one is, uh, well, TSMC is uh, starting their production of seven nanometer chips. And within the customers of this chip, we hear that Huawei is one of them. So even with the whole ban and ARM complying with this ban, TSMC is going to supply this technology for Huawei uh, with the Karen 985, which we hear is going to be the processor being built on this. So that's great. It means that uh, we will be seeing more Huawei smartphones. But the question is, what exactly are these smartphones going to run? And so we now have a trademark for a brand new operating system from Huawei called Arc. Arc OS, as in, I don't know if I should call it Noah's Arc, uh, given everything that's happening. Whatever the case may be, I mean, let's uh, let's dive into this. Okay, so Arc OS. What exactly would you like this Arc OS to do that would be better than Android, for example? Uh, let us know in the comments down below, because in my case, Honestly, it's always a breath of fresh air to see something different, but we've seen Tizen, we've seen Sailfish, we've seen so many cases of operating systems that have failed. Uh, I feel that the most important thing that Huawei can do, given the leverage of the size of their market, is to make it open source. If they launch an operating system and they open source it to others, that's gonna be a big deal because it allows, you know, not just running Android apps, but it allows a new community to be spurred from this. And truly, obviously, run Android apps and uh, sure, be more power efficient. Uh, learn something or two from iOS in anything but the grid of icons, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion.
And folks, I just want to take a minute to tell you about today's sponsor of the daily. If you're like me, you make most of your purchases online. Unless it's Amazon, that means you have to spend a while filling in personal information like your credit card and shipping address when you buy something online. With Dashlane, you never have to do that again. See, Dashlane works across all of your devices, including Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac, and stands ready to autofill your info to save you time. It also has some really great free bonuses, a VPN to prevent prying eyes from tracking what you do and download online. So try Dashlane for free for 30 days by going to dashlane.com slash pocket now and using coupon code pocket now to get 50% off Dashlane Premium. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens there. You can also follow me in case you want to see some weird running photos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.